I, I had an interview today, which is so funny. He went and told people that, I wrote about it on the blog the night we, we had a, a big party after the first game and everybody got drunk and I like ran over the top of the car and got, in, you know, got caught by the police for it. And I, like I, said, I wrote about it on the blog. He goes and tells a, a reporter, oh yeah, I keep ran on top of the car, stood on top of the car and sort of feeding on my chest and yelling I'm King Kong. Like they stuff that didn't happen. He said when I when I left the department, I tried to punch him and steal his TV. And then he said when I was at Pee nightclub, I punched a waitress. This is the question I ask you. First of all, I would probably, I, if that happened, I probably would have been thrown out of the nightclub. I go to P1 once a week. We can go there tonight and hang out if you like. First of all, I didn't hit her. If I did hit her, she would have hit the ground. Somebody would have saw something. So if I punched a woman working, uh, like the girl from a this tall, if I punched the waitress in P1 and she didn't fall, get hurt or anything, that means she's better than half the football players in this league. That's what that means. She needs to be playing football because she can take a hit from me. She needs to be playing for the crew. Like, do, you, do you understand how stupid that even sounds? Like when a reporter asked me that, I was like, you know what? Watch this story is much better. Go with that. Just because I want to see how many people believe that I punched a waitress and nothing. Like nobody threw me out of a club. Um, I didn't go to jail. She didn't get hurt. She didn't press any charges. Like how I did anything to her. Like it's just so crazy. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like the whole thing. I, what I wrote about on the blog, I just wrote what he said to me. That's all I wrote. Only thing I wrote. On the blog was repeated what he said to me. And people think, oh, that's mean, it's ugly. Well, don't get mad at me. I said, I just told you what he said. I'm not writing any stories about him saying anything. I just wrote what he said. Now you can judge what kind of person he is by the words he used. So, in, in, in his defense, you know, to what I wrote, he says, you know, I keep it these things. So, does that justify you being a racist? So, I, I write that you, you know, call me words that are not right, said stuff about black people, and you're, and you write, oh, I keep got drunk, this is stupid. That's not even the same issue. He, because he, there's no way he can ever say, because I've never even came here and said anything bad about Polish people. I mean, I, you, you, nobody's heard me come out and just say, oh, I think Polish people are stupid, I hate Polish people, and all this. Because I've never said anything like that. And even with, um, and even with all those situations that I've dealt with it, you know, there was one night we're standing here with Davey and Tyler, all of us, and we're waiting for a, um, a tram, and these a bunch of guys start just doing monkey noises at us and yelling. Uh, we come home one night from club, seven guys around Lance and I are trying to fight us. Um, you know, Fourth of July, four guys surrounded me and tried to, uh, and tried to um, two weeks ago, tried to jump me. But do I say, you know, Polish people is a bad place? No, I say, I don't like Polish people. Do I say Polish people are, 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 are racist? No, those are just those people. So he's going to say it because it's something I, like, three things that I did makes him hate all black people, and this is why you shouldn't like our kid. But I'm here dealing with, the, like, you know, dealing with certain ignorant people, but I can sell, I can easily say, those are just individual people, that's their beliefs. That's not all of Roosevelt's beliefs. That's not all of Poland's beliefs. I don't, I don't even see how that, I don't even, I don't even understand how he can even make that argument. Uh, like, Craig on the whole, whole thing. You know, Lowell, he's like, he's, you know, we're friends of his. Like, to be honest, he, he, he saved, he, he really saved this whole situation because, we, we, all right, when we moved out here, we were told we were going to have this done. Um, you know, you know, Marcel was supposed to pay you guys, and we were supposed to get a phone, or get a cell phone, you know, health care. Um, you have gym pass to work out and stuff like that. Just like simple things like that you should have when you're going to play. Um, and we get out here and we start talking to Marcin and he's like, you guys don't have a contract with me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even do this stuff for you guys. Talk to Mark. And Mark was like the agent who actually, Mark was the agent who got us out here. Um, Low actually wasn't even like really being involved. And um, he was just a spon he was just one of the sponsors. He gave the team money to get pads and stuff like that. Uh, he bought the jerseys for the team and stuff like that. But uh, you know, he really wasn't um, a, a major part of the team. Um, but after a month, we went. He was uh, Mark left, and we were just sitting there and like living with Marson. Things were going really bad, and we we're like, well, we need to go talk to this dude and find out what the problem was going on. So he was like, what's the? He said, what's going on? Like first, you know, we got to move. Like two, somebody has to move out of that guy's apartment because we can't live with them. Um, we don't know, you know, who's going to be paying us while we're out here. Like, you know, everybody's, like, fresh out of college. Like, Tyler did go out of college. They have bills to pay at home. And you didn't move over here, you know, not to earn a bit, to make a living. You know, this is making a living playing football. They have bills to pay at home. Student loans cost some money. I don't know if you know, but, like, 
here, you can go to college for free. In the States, uh, college costs about $40,000 a year. And most people make $40,000 a year for the whole, uh, just as for a whole family. These guys have bills to pay and stuff like that at home. And, you know, Mark says a lot, that's not my job. I, if you're inside a contract with me, I don't, I don't got to pay you guys. So he went to Lowe's and said, well, we, you know, we can't stay out here. We have to go home. And he was like, you know what? Just tell me what, you know, what was, what was promised to you guys, and I'll just take care of you from, from then on. And that's, and then after that, he started pretty much helping us out with everything because, you know, we really were out here with nothing. He, 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 he has to take care of us. He has to take care of his investment. And his whole thing is like, you know, he put a lot of money into the team. I mean, it's like close to like 500000 dollars he put into this, like, building this team. And he's like, screw it. If, um, if Marcin wants to act this way, then I won't be the sponsor anymore. I'll, 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 I'm done funding the team. I won't pay for this, won't pay the bills. Um, I won't do any of this. You know, since he wants to get rid of my friends, I'm going to stop investing in the team. So that after that, he was like, you know what? If you guys want to stay out here, you know, let's find a good place for you guys to go. And then he helped us in making the move to Warsaw and finding the team and everything.